two. Tracy, could you tell us uh, what's going on here tonight? Okay, what we've got here, um, it starts off over here. This is what's called a session directory. This gives us a quick look at what happens to be going on on the MBOM. Okay. Can you uh, make that video picture any bigger? Yeah. This is a live broadcast of a course here at the Naval Postgraduate School. This is Dr. Richard Hamming. His course is called Learning to Learn. This gives us an idea of what we're looking at, what kind of frame rate we're getting, what kind of bandwidth we're transmitting at. What are your goals? To prove that it can be done. Distance learning over the multicast backbone mm -hmm. on a continual basis. This window up here shows who's listening right now. We've got some people from Florence Berkeley Laboratories, uh, Cornell, other government institutions, North Dakota, an educational institution there. Anybody international? Um, I believe this one's the UK. This one appears possibly from Japan. Um, again, from Cornell, from Georgia Tech University, and uh, from USC, that sort of thing. On average, we get about 10 listeners during each lecture. How come that picture looks so slow, but the, the regular video looks more well, normal? regular video, you get, just like on television, about 30 frames per second. But on the M-Bone right now, we only get at best 4 frames per second. And you can see right here, we're only getting 0.7. The, uh, the M-Bone software will digitize every frame that the camera takes a snapshot of, but it'll only transmit what has changed from frame to frame. So as Dr. Hammy moves around, it digitizes the entire picture, but it will only transmit his different positions on the screen. What else did you have to do to, to make this whole thing work? Well, first of all, we had to get a network set up in this auditorium. This is a brand new building here at the Naval Graduate School. And uh, there was no network connections in here. We scrambled to get that done in about three days. We had to hire slave labor here. This is John Bigelow, my cameraman. He's single, by the way. <laughs> Still single? 646-9133. <laughs> and now uh, we had to we had to locate a professor who was willing to be a part of this research. And uh, Dr. Henry was willing to give us his expertise. What's next? What happens after well, we finish all these lectures? After we finish this, we've been uh, recording the lectures and we're going to put them online on the internet so that at any time, anyone who's got the capability to use Envon can download them to their server and see the lectures whenever they want. That's great. Do you think that uh, students in schools around here will be able to use this? Well, definitely. And actually, the desire is there. I've had a number of students that, that have come to me and asked me, you know, when is it going to be online? When can we watch it? That sort of thing. And a lot of people internationally have also sent emails asking when are the tapes going to be online for viewing purposes. That's great. Thanks a lot, Tracy. You're welcome.